<clears throat> Hello, everyone. I am Jeff. I am the Associate Education Director at the Center for Puppetry Arts. It's in Atlanta and is the largest organization in the entire country focused on the art of puppetry. We have three areas we focus on at the Center for Puppetry Arts. We have amazing puppet shows that are uh, award-winning, and uh, we also have a museum that is a very large museum. We have a global collection on one side, and we have the Jim Henson collection. And Jim Henson, of course, is the guy who started the Muppets, okay? And then the third department is the education department, and that's where I work. I have been here for 20, over 20 years working at the Center for Puppetry Arts in the education department. So today I'm coming to you from one of our classrooms here. This is one of our bulletin boards here with a bunch of photographs of some puppets from around the world. And uh, you are here, of course, to learn how to build your very simple puppet. And I bet you know what it is, perhaps, um, but it is going to be a what we call a diving dolphin puppet. If this puppet could either be a rod puppet, which also means stick puppet, or it could be a shadow puppet. I'm gonna show you how to do it both ways, okay? Now here at the Center for Puppet Arts, we have all kinds of shows happening throughout the year. And we always design a puppet that ties in with a show, okay, the theme. So maybe this puppet show might have lots of marionettes, which are string puppets. So we might build a simple string puppet. There might be shadow puppets in the show. So we'll build a shadow puppet. And we usually use one of the characters from the show. So right here, we did, uh, I don't even remember what show it's from. I designed this um, and it is known as a dolphin. We love dolphins. There's a dolphin sound for you. Dolphins are usually very sweet. Sometimes in the wild, they can be a little aggressive, but they are very, very smart animals and they are actually mammals. So typically you would see a dolphin in the wild and in like a river dolphin, there's actually a pink river dolphin. It's actually pink. But a typical dolphin, when you think of a dolphin, they're usually like a gray color and they're very shiny, right? But to make it a little more interesting, your shadow puppet or your puppet is actually like a light blue color, just to make it a little more interesting instead of gray, okay? So let's go over the parts to make sure you have those. And what we're going to do, we're going to go through the steps together. So make sure you have this. If you're not uh, able to have that right now, maybe you can substitute something else, but you're going to need First of all, the head of the puppet, you can see, this is called the rostrum. That's like its nose right there, okay? And then this is a little fin that comes down. This will be his back or her back right there with a little, it's called a dorsal fin. And you'll see there's some holes there. And there's also the tail like that. So that would go on there too. You should also have two of these little things known as paper fasteners. Some people call them brads but they're paper fasteners. They usually go into holes and we know that we have some holes in our puppet and you should also have some chopsticks, okay? Maybe you had some lunch and had some Chinese food or some Thai food and use some of these, but these work great as what we call control rods. So we're gonna do that. And you're also gonna need, not just like this, but you're gonna need some masking tape like this. If you don't have masking tape, you could use any kind of tape and it should work the same way. You just may have to change the size just a little bit, okay? And maybe you'll need some scissors and then later on you'll have some decorating materials, hopefully maybe some markers or a pencil or some construction paper, but we'll go over that soon, okay? So first step, all right, are we ready? Everybody got those materials? If not, um, hopefully someone else will grab them for you. And we're gonna find first the head. Remember, this is the rostrum, that's where his little nose is. Beep, 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 all right? And there's gonna be a hole right here. We are going to now put this back part, it's gonna connect right here. There's a hole there and there's a hole right there. They're gonna go and collide and we're gonna make so they can see them both like this. Now, what should happen is for you guys, the head should be on top of or in front of the body like this, all right? See how this is in front like that in the part you're seeing? And then we can see through that hole. I'm looking and I can see my computer screen. We're gonna take this little paper fastener right here and we're gonna put it in this hole right here like it's a nail going into the wall, hang a picture. So I'm gonna put that right in there like that. And then I'm gonna look at the other side by holding it still, 
you can see that there's these little prongs that come out and we're gonna open those up so it holds it in place. But look from the side, I'm not gonna make it completely flat because we want these to move freely. So the front of your puppet should look like this. The head part should be in front and that's where the round piece should be. So it should move like that. And then here's the back, like that. See that? Zoom, zoom. All right, pretty simple, right? Yeah, I hope you have that. Look at it again, make sure the head is in front of the main part of the body. Now we're gonna find the tail. We're gonna match up this hole with this hole here and put it behind or underneath the main body. So it's gonna go behind. We'll match those holes up. I'm looking through there again, like that. And I'm gonna put the round part showing and put it like a nail into the wall like that. And I'm gonna hold it in the back like this. And then I'm gonna open up those prongs, but we don't wanna flatten them out because we want our dolphin's tail to move freely. So it's gonna move like that. All right, so you should be able to hold it from above here and it should wiggle back and forth and do a little dance. So there we go. So now we have that. So I want you to set that down on the table in front of you so that you see the prong. You want to see this part. We're going to come back to that in just a moment because we're going to go on to the control rods and they are going to be the chopsticks. So I want you to find the two chopsticks. They're in the package. Take that package, crinkle it up and go recycle it. Whee! and we have two chopsticks. These are usually made out of bamboo. Sometimes the fancier ones are made out of like a plastic or a special kind of wood, but these are made out of bamboo, which is a, basically a grass that grows really fast, okay? So these are gonna be the control rods. So we're gonna use them one at a time, okay? And we're gonna need a piece of masking tape about this long. So this is probably, well, I've got an adult pinky finger, but it's a little bit shorter than my pinky finger. I'm going to put it right here on my shirt so you can kind of see about how long it should be. Just about that long, okay? Just about that long, all right? Sticky sides there. And what we're going to do is we're going to find the chopstick. Typically, there's a round part here and then a little bit more of a pointy part right there. Boing, boing, boing. We're going to put this on the tip only about this far. See that? There's the tape, only about that far. So it's only about, mm, not even a half inch, a quarter inch on the tip. And here's our stickiness, sticky, sticky, sticky. Okay, everyone make sure you have it that far. And then what you're gonna do, just like a peanut butter sandwich, we want the peanut butter and the inside and the jelly and the inside, all that stickiness. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna wrap this around, watch this for the whole step, and we're gonna make the sticky side touch the sticky side. And we're gonna make it look like that. We're making a little loop, make it a little prettier here. Just like that, we're gonna make a loop at the top. If you were to hold this up to the light, you would see that the tip of the chopstick is just right about where my fingernail is right there. Right about there. And then from the side, we have a loop. Now we carefully did that. And now we're gonna do something strange. We're gonna, we're gonna flatten it out. Just like that. Now it's flat and it kind of resembles a spatula or maybe a paddle for a canoe or a kayak if you had two of them, right? So it should look like that. I'm going to hold it right there and it should be flat ish. Doesn't have to be perfectly flat like that. Okay. So nice and flat. So let's do that. And guess what we're going to do now? We're going to find the other one. <laughs> And we're going to do the exact same thing. So I'm going to get my tape and pull off a piece about that same length, like that. All right. We're going to find the pointy tip. Boing, boing. Here's a rounded end. Find the tip and shoot, put it on the tip like that. See that? And we're gonna find that sticky side. We're gonna put the stickiness in the inside like this and make a loop again, just like that. 
You can kind of see where the tip is showing right there. So we don't want it all the way up because we're gonna flatten out, boosh, just like we did before. So it's gonna be like that. What's gonna happen in a few moments, this little flap is gonna get taped down and this will like a hinge, like a door. It could be a, a door to a room or it could be a door to a car. It's gonna be like a hinge. So you're gonna have that, Let's see how that looks. Almost going to be an L shape later on. The same thing for the other one. Okay. Now we're going to go back to the puppet in the back. We're going to see the back, and that's the side with the prongs. I'm going to move my camera down here so you guys can see this a little better. All right. And we'll move it there. <clears throat> and we're going to get this little piece right here. And we're going to put it right about here. And we're going to get another piece of tape. This one's going to be a little bit smaller, like this. And we're going to tape just the tab down. So how we do that is we're going to make a letter T. T is a great uh, letter. This goes up like this. And so we're going to put a piece of tape across here. So it's a capital T like this. See that? And notice, this is the important part, that it's slightly above the tip of that chopstick. It's slightly above the tip of the chopstick, all right? That way, when we tape this down, it works like a hinge. All right, and then what we're gonna do, I'm gonna bring this down, and right about here, we're going to attach the tape and press it down like that. And it's gonna hang down, sort of like if you, your uh, dolphin was going skiing, maybe it's a ski stick or it's a popsicle. Let's see how that is hanging down and it works like a hinge. Like that. All right. Anybody have that? So now I'm going to place this back down and we have our other control rod. And what we'll do is get another piece of tape and make a T for tail. All right. So here's our piece of tape again. It's a little bit shorter than we did before. And this one is definitely needs to be shorter. And we're going to put it on like this. Make another letter T and make it prettier. Just for that. And notice that it's above the tip of that chopstick. All right. Now we're going to put that on the tail. So here's the back of our puppet. And we're going to put it so it goes right here like this. So you can kind of let it hang off like that from the back of the puppet, all right? And it should still, again, hang off like that and work like a hinge. Then what you should be able to do is grab the tips, way at the tips of those chopsticks from far away, and you should be able to make your dolphin swim. Swim through the air. You always lead with the head. As a puppeteer, you lead with the head. See that? And then I'll show you the back. So it should look like that. All right, this one's sticking off here. Now, this is what's called a rod puppet. We have control rods. And if you just want to have the swim around the room, pretend your room is an entire large aquarium with other fishes and, and other uh, animals and sharks and whales and things like that. And you can make other puppets like this too. But you might want to add some decoration. So maybe you have some markers. Some markers. Maybe you have, I have a ton right here, construction paper of all different colors right there that you can cut up using scissors and make different things. So you might also include, you could use your tape, but I have some uh, glue here I can smear on and attach to the puppet, okay? <clears throat> now, right before we started, I made a little, a little top hat, a little top hat, and I'm gonna attach that to my dolphin. So I'll do is get, some glue, put it on the back and put it right about where a little top hat might go like this on my dolphin. That's kind of fun, right? And maybe I wanna make an eye. Maybe the eye will look like this.
How's that? So we could do something like that with our puppet. All right. We could also maybe add an eyebrow. And we might add a little bit of a mouth for him here. And they kind of look like they smile dolphins. So maybe you do this. A mouth like that. All right. Or you could do whatever. You could add some details. Like I can get some gray here. Maybe add some details to our dolphin. Like this. To make them look a little bit more shiny because they're usually in the water and they got that really shiny skin. Okay. That makes it a rod puppet and you control it from there. But this puppet could also be a shadow puppet. And a shadow puppet is usually illuminated with light from behind. So we could have, here's another one I made. We can make this one a shadow puppet and watch what happens. I'm gonna turn, if you guys are okay with it, I'm going to turn my camera over to a shadow puppet screen. Look over here, like that. And I'm gonna bring this down here. And you'll see if I turn off the lights, you can see, boom, my shadow right here on this. And if I hold this shadow puppet up, the color will show a little bit because it's thin, but we can hold this up like this. And he can swim across the screen. And I'm making sure I touch it. Now, not everyone has, not everyone has a shadow screen in their home, but you can find maybe a flashlight that's on your iPhone or your, or your Android phone, there's a flashlight and you could just stand in the shower and maybe with your shower curtain, you stretch it out, turn the lights out in the bathroom, hold a flashlight, have a friend hold the flashlight behind your puppet and hold it against the screen. You could even hang a bed sheet in a doorway and do it that way. And you can make all kinds of shadow puppets with old cereal boxes. You can make yourself a troll, you can, or you can make other sea animals like a shark or a whale or whatever you would like. Now, one thing you can do is this is a solid color. It's, this is known as opaque, which means light won't pass through it. So you can get one of these. These are called hole punchers. So if I wanted his eye to show up, I can do this. And you'll see I punched a hole there, you can see. And when I hold that up to the screen, you'll see the eye. Maybe you can see that. I might need to move closer. Can you see that? There's a little bit of an eye showing right there. Here's the control rod, there's my hand. I'm gonna make them go perpendicular to our puppet so they don't show up as much. So look how pretty that can be. Now this shadow screen, this shadow screen is a, a strong uh, material called muslin and it's stretched over the wooden frame and then the, it makes it nice and tight so you can hold it, in. but it doesn't, it can have some wrinkles in it. You can even use blue light. And we have these things that we use here sometimes. These are called gels, but you can also find this, like different color uh, materials they use for gift wrapping. But we have these, which color shines through their transparency. And you could take one of these, make it slightly bigger than the hole that we just punched. And then you could tape it on, on the back of the puppet. And then the puppet will have a blue eye. See the blue shining through there? So you can do all kinds of things like that. You can even put scissors into the hole for his eye here, and we can make his eye bigger or her eye bigger. So I put it in the hole here and I can make a very much bigger eye. And then I can put this piece back on and there you go. It's blue and it's bigger. So that's some of the things you can do. You can use construction paper, which also works as an opaque object. So the light does not pass through it. All right, so those are some options that you can do. Now, if you ever come to the Center for Puppetry Arts, we have, we'll have a different puppet we'll probably build if you see a show and they're always different. So this is just one style of puppet but I think this can really be a great way to learn how shadow puppetry works 
and just cut up an old cereal box or some cardboard and get some chopsticks or you could use old pencils or any kind of little stick, even a stick from outside. Okay, it's like recycling, right? So I hope you guys have enjoyed this and um, I hope it was informative and it wasn't too hard to build. Um, and hopefully you're inspired and maybe you'll do a little research on a dolphin so you even know more about dolphins because they're really magical, magical creatures, very smart. Okay, so you guys have a great summer. Thanks for watching. Come visit the Center for Puppetry Art. Our website is puppet.org, www.puppet.org.